Happy New Year to everyone and I hope you got a chance to check out my videos for the season. Hope you had a really good time throughout the holiday season. I'm a bit hoarse but this is how I'm going to kick off the new year 2019 guys. It's 2019 and I love you guys. Thanks to all of my new subscribers. Welcome aboard. I hope you have a fun time this new year. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this closet haul comprises of all of my long floor length, gorgeous, fabulous items that I wear on very special occasions. And so I wanted to share them with you. So of course, here on my channel, I try to promote and advocate sustainable fashion. So I always tell you guys, let's join the sustainable fashion movement and do something for the environment. It's, it's the least we can do. And the goal is to stay away from fast fashion but if you do happen to like a trend pay attention to the label look for natural fibers as as much as you possibly can and try to incorporate them into your wardrobe you're going to look for stuff like linen cotton viscose lyosal very great fibers that are biodegradable so that if you do get rid of them you, you can feel some comfort in the knowledge that they are not just sitting in a landfill somewhere they are being degraded if you haven't bought sustainable fashion like I have done in the past I have bought a lot of polyester sadly and I am so ashamed so those ones I would be making them degradable because I'll be wearing them to death until they're like chips or crisp in my hands that's how I plan on keeping them away from the environment the only thing right you can do is not to encourage companies to produce them the high-end companies as well and they know who they are but trust me throughout this process I'll be looking into my wardrobe and I do have a couple high-end items and I'll be taking stock I'll be looking at the fabrics the fabrication process of their items the materials they used for their items so hopefully that would bring some insight into the fashion industry and it would guide your spending habits as you go forward in in looking fabulous and fierce so today of course the first one up is the two okay this is the first piece i'm going to show you and because this is a piece that i often wear i just i just grab it it's so warm and fuzzy and i'm not kidding look at the inside of it i fell in love with this piece years ago but it's definitely not environmentally friendly. It's very fuzzy inside. It's like a big teddy bear inside. And right now with the big teddy bear trend that is so on point and popping right now. I broke down the equity on this coat. Please check it out. I could turn this inside out and really, really get the trend going. For me, this is a piece that I can wear both ways. I can wear it this way. And when I initially bought this coat, this is what really attracted me to it. 
it was so gorgeous and it was in the really gorgeous tan camel color and I love this color on me and of course you can wear it this way love the color love the fit oh I love the fit of this and initially it had a hoodie but I took it to my seamstress and she took it off for me and now it it only has a collar and I love it because I have a very similar one that somebody gifted me and it has a hoodie and I love the hoodie on that one so I didn't think I need both although I'm not a hoodie person but I am okay with experimenting if I do like it the fabric on this I'll definitely have to look it up and let you guys know so as you can see from the label guys it's a hundred percent polyester the outer shell and the lining comprises of 10% acrylic and 90% polyester this is a piece that goes all the way down and I love it this is definitely another feature I love about this coat. I love how long it is. It makes you look so elegant. I love how elegant it looks. So really, really love it. Guys. I love this because I have no choice right now, but it's not something I would recommend. The next piece is the piece that is very similar to the first one I just showed you. Here it is, guys. This is a piece by Jones, New York. I seem to have a thing for it. It's gorgeous. Look at the, oh, look at this, guys. Again, this looks pretty, but definitely not environmentally friendly. Definitely fallen in love with this piece. Unlike the other piece I just showed you, it has more of a rug, bare rug, type of lining inside there's no doubt that this item is pretty warm and it looks absolutely gorgeous just as beautiful and it, it's just as warm and it's very long guys like it's all the way down there it is indeed very long as well just like the first one and it's even more elegant than the first one this is a piece I often pair with my gangs and if I'm going somewhere a bit, a little bit fancier than normal everyday wear, I definitely chose this option because it looks, it just goes beautifully with almost any dress, whether it's a cocktail dress or a long floor length dress. I so I love piece. it for that. It has gorgeous details. I love the raw edges of the fabric. And of course you can see a peak of the faux fur peeking from the sleeves. And I just love that detail as well. It's repeated all over. I love clothing items with raw edges. I think it gives them Such character. A great piece. And this piece is a gift from my friend Yolanda Eternal, oh my god, I have, I have great friends. Because when, when you meet people that you, you are nice to and then they return the favor, although you are not nice to them because you're expecting anything in return, it's just, it's just karma. You, you give out good and you get good when you least expect it. So she gave me this piece about four years ago now and I, I love, love, love this piece. It's a little too big for me but oh my god, I just love the way it fits and it's a great event piece, pairs beautifully with your gowns. And you guys must have seen this before because I paired it one New Year's Eve as <laughs> it's just it's just beautiful look at that gorgeous hoodie it's such a pity that it's not an environmentally sustainable fabric it's synthetic 
just as beautifully with a distressed looking jeans. Oh my God, guys, look so good. A coat like this in animal or plant fibers would definitely be a great option for your wardrobe for this year or next year. <laughs> Underneath it, you may have glimpsed this gray piece. It is so dirty, it needs to dry clean because that's how much I want this piece to death. This is a piece from Zara. It's gray, it's gorgeous, it fits beautifully. I get complimented on it all the time. It's a long line piece. Definitely true. This was my go-to piece last year and I just wore this piece non-stop because it just goes with everything as you know gray is one of those natural colors that you can't go wrong with any coat that is gray I wear it monochromatic I just pair it with almost with anything gray and it looks so expensive I just love it. Love, love, love this piece. It's very simple, but I love that simplicity. And feel free to add a belt with it. Of course, I wear it most often just like this. I also wear it undone. But I wasn't wearing anything proper underneath. So I didn't show it here, but it looks Great undone. It appears to be on the lighter side, but I've worn this in minus 20 degrees wind chill factor. And it works beautifully with the right scarf. The scarf that I'm pairing it with right now is a dupe of the one from Aritzia. And <laughs> it's definitely something I bought thinking it was a good idea while I love the way it looks it it looks gorgeous it is a hundred percent acrylic so it is not an environmentally sustainable fabric it is not environmentally friendly so I would not recommend but it does look pretty really really love this and you guys are gonna laugh <laughs> this piece one of the most unusual pieces that you may find in my wardrobe but it's so warm so while it may not be everyone's cup of tea <laughs> or eco tea lining wise i love it and it would be in my wardrobe forever i got this piece from a store i think it's sirens like ages ago like probably 12 if if not more yeah probably 12 years ago i got this piece and i know some of you are gonna say well probably go take it back this is made from jeans material and it reminds me of the coats of coats of yonder past and it's it's it just gives me that foxy cleopatra kind of vibe that 1980s 70s vibes where you just want to go to the disco and you're in your fabulous coat i just love this piece i must admit it gets a lot of attention whenever i wear it and people look at me as if i'm from an old bad probably gangster movie or something or from a different century but i don't care i love it what they think i i don't really care what they think i just love it and it's practical it fits great gorgeous i feel good in it i don't care i just love the i love the four four around it's warm I didn't expect it to be, but it's warm. What more do I ask for? And of course, the 4-4 is, is repeated at the very hem of the coat. Really, really funky piece. Really retro piece. <laughs>
really love it. And of course, oh, one of my all time favorite coats, my Burberry coat. This piece is new to the family of my coats. It's navy blue and it's just gorgeous. I just love the gold button detail, love the pockets, and it's my only coat in navy blue. Really, really love this. And I'm sure you guys must have seen it throughout my 12 days of Christmas looks. I hope you did. Do check them out. They are absolutely fantastic, if I do say so myself. And here are just two examples of how I wore my coat throughout the 12 days of Christmas. I definitely hope you guys checked them out. You know, they are really, really great videos. I really put a lot of efforts into getting them out for you before the holiday season. So I really love this coat. It's one of my best investments and it goes with absolutely everything. So I love this one. <laughs> and the creme de la creme, my pride and joy and my most expensive coat in my closet is this is my go-to gala piece and I just love it I just love all the details on this piece this is how long it is guys I mean this coat it sweeps the floor and I just love those floppy lapels they are huge and it's by design and look at the gorgeous buttons and that that panel of leather guys such details that went into the making of this coat and i really can't thank my fashion designer enough it's gorgeous beautifully made elegance to the nines it's like you put this coat over the simplest of gown and you look like you're going to the oscars uh, it's it's such a beautiful piece. There's not much I can say. I'll show you clips from when I was preparing to go to my gala. This is the piece I wore. I I I love it. So this is me getting ready one evening when when I was going to my country's gala and I wore this coat and oh my god. It is a head turner and I could understand why everyone always asks me where I get my coat and yeah I'm absolutely proud of this piece is it's a masterpiece and will be in my wardrobe forever so that's it guys as you can see some of the coats that I've bought in the past may not be a hundred percent and some of them may be mixed but I am trying to stay away from mixed fabrics because they could also present another challenge but at least I now know from looking into my closet what to look for, what not to look for and so going forward it's definitely something I'm quite cognizant of and in doing so I'm really really trying my best to educate you as I take you along this journey with me. And if you want to join me, feel free to do so. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.